first of all, is a good friend. <laughs> a good friend of films and a very supportive uh, person for shorts. And uh, her presentation is not only filming in Greece and what is the opportunity to film in Greece, but also uh, how people can be inspired by all Greek industry that is a bit unknown in Europe and more in uh, the rest of the world. Although it's, um, this pitching lab and the Hellenic uh, Film Center, that which the Hellenic Film Commission is part of, uh, has been awarded uh, many projects in late years and was very well known in all over the world, in the USA, last prize in IT, in Singapore. And so we're very proud to have you again on our side. So Venya is going to present you how to film in Greece and which is the tricks that you should know. Venya. Thank you for the introduction, Barbara, uh, and the kind words. I'm a big fan of Drama Film Festival and it's a great honor to participate at the festival through this uh, presentation. And I think that because the Hellenic Film Commission, which is a directorate of the Greek Film Center, as you said, uh, its main goal is to spread the world worldwide about what Greece has to offer in terms of filmmaking. Uh, we strongly believe that, uh, you know, the pitching lab of Drama Film Festival was the best um, territory to do this presentation uh, because we uh, refer to both Greek and foreign filmmakers also for short films. And we all know how big talents start from sorts and that's why we are very very happy here at the Greek Film Center to be following you guys and what you're doing and um, I would like to start my presentation by sharing um, this PDF with you. Um, I don't know if you can see it now. Barbara, can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, as I said, the Hellenic Film Commission is the directorate of the Greek Film Center and uh, it's a member of the European Film Commission's network, which is the European uh, network of film commissions with more than 96 members. We're also a member of the AFCI, the Association of Film Commissioners International, the Global Association of Film Commissioners that started in 1975. Um, with more than 300 members worldwide. And I always emphasize on these memberships uh, because it's really invaluable, the input and the expertise and the knowledge that we exchange with other film commissioners. Even though countries are competing who is going to attract, um, you know, especially the big productions, at the same time, film commissioners are colleagues that can exchange uh, expertise in order to um, develop skills in their country and in their commission. So this is really important for us. So um, as I said, our main goal is to communicate to everybody in the film industry what Greece has to offer. And obviously, number one is the locations. Uh, everybody knows about the incredible cultural heritage that this uh, has and the monuments and these landscapes which are fascinating. But we try to explain to people that Greece is not only that and Greece can host any kind of audiovisual words, any kind of genre uh, in so many different landscapes and locations. And... Um, we see that the demand for this is growing gradually over the years. And this is really uh, very optimistic because we all know how iconic some films have become, like, you know, Lick Besson's Grand Blue that was shot in Amorgos and made this tiny little cycladic island popular to the rest of the world. And uh, we were happy to actually see the first European co-production that started filming in Europe 
during the pandemic, after the lockdown, in Greece, again in Amorgos, a German-Italian Greek co-production serviced by Heretic in Greece, uh, titled Daughters. So it's always fascinating to see how all these landmark landscapes and locations come again on, on the big screen, but also to see how other locations which were not in the map um, do appear now and we make them known. And I will explain about that later on in a short video. So number two, obviously, if to some number one, I'm only you know casually mentioning them in terms of numbers. It's the cash rebate. You see here in the presentation the 35 cash rebate. Recently, it was raised to 40 percent, and recently during this rise, also short films. Uh, went into the legislation, and we think that this is extremely important, that the cash rebate, which is one of the most um, popular and well-designed incentives in Europe right now, is also something that is actually happening in Greece for the last two years. It is operated by ECOME, another institution, and as far as I know, a lovely colleague from ECOME, Stelios Kraunakis, is attending Drama Film Festival, and I'm sure he will have a lot to tell you about the cash rebate and how we work with it. But uh, it is really important that, you know, filmmakers know that also if they're interested in shooting in Greece for short films, they can apply for the cash rebate for 40%. If the project has a minimum spend of 30000 uh, euros in Greek territory, according to the legal expenses. So, um, as I said earlier, um, you know, locations are unique and very well known, particularly the ones that are um, ancient and come stem from our cultural heritage. I just wanted to comment about this, that the Film Commission um, has a very key role into guiding filmmakers when they want to come to shoot in Greece. And guiding filmmakers for filming permits is key. And uh, because of our attempts over the last three years, the legislation has changed in terms of the procedures on how people apply to the Ministry of Culture in order to uh, get a filming permit. It used to be much more demanding, to put it in a way, uh, because all filming permits in all archaeological sites under the jurisdiction of the Hellenic Ministry of Culture uh, had to be examined by the Central Archaeological Council. Uh, since July 2019, only the requests for filming on locations, on monuments which are under the list of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Greece, only those, only the UNESCO locations are examined now by the Central Archaeological Site. And this is very important for me, filmmakers because the time is less, the time needed for a filming permit is less. And we can also connect filmmakers to the appropriate efforts to the ministry so that they find their ways easier to their permits. And as I said earlier, um, we always try to communicate worldwide that Greece is not only, you know, Acropolis and Olympia and all these incredibly important uh, sites, but also um, unknown lands. And um, we have been very proud to spread the word about Greece being the only country in Europe that can host filming within a crater in um, the volcano, the volcano of Nisiros Island, where a Spanish-Greek co-production was shot a couple of years ago, and in the trailer that I will show you at the end of this presentation, you can see some uh, footage from that film. I'm referring to the film named um, Window to the Sea, which is a beautiful film shot entirely on the island of Nisiros. And of course, uh, we are here to uh, connect foreign producers and filmmakers with the Greek Industry Guide. Uh, you can see our guide on our website, which is filmcommission.gr. And this applies to sorts as well. And it is really important to know that when 
you know, um, people come and ask us, who should we work with? And could you please recommend us companies? Uh, we understand this need, but at the same time, uh, the Helen Clinton Commission and the Great Clinton Center is a public institution, so we cannot pinpoint names and companies, but we can um, give key ways of how to research through our industry guide in order to find uh, the best company for your needs to collaborate with. And this is important because you need to gain trust and um, it's only a producer's um, you know, responsibility to decide who he or she is going to trust. But um, everything is there, you know, one can do a very thorough research and with our guidance, find the best possible uh, colleagues in the Greek territory to work with. Um, I, I was happy to see the projects that participate at the Beach and Lab right now, and I saw foreign films and projects both with competing with Greek ones, and I'm sure this can give opportunities to people to connect and get to know more people from the Greek industry. And this is really, really important. And also it is important because um, not many people know the vast talent that Greece has in terms of technicians and crews. For example, we have fantastic VFX artists, amazing companies that are doing amazing job on the VFX um, department and are working with big productions in Hollywood. So whenever uh, th there is a chance to communicate this, this is something that we really, really want to be well known and out in the open. And um, of course, I can talk endlessly about, you know, uh, how important it was for us to have Michael Winterbottom to shoot in Greece for the trip to Greece um, last year and how Projects like that spread the word in the community about the, what Greece offers. But um, before uh, I can ask you whether you have any questions for me, I would like to show you um, it's a very short trailer that has extracts from uh, feature films and TV series that were shot in Greece within the last three, four years. It's only a minute, so it's not very long. And um, I'm gonna share it with you in a second. Can you see it? Um, I don't know if you can see the video. Let me try again. You need to share it. Yes, I did. Um, well, we see only the uh, your, uh, your my action. attempt to find it. Okay. Can you see it now? No, only the archives and that you spot. Okay. Okay, let me try again. All right. Oh, there it is. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Ah, I see a familiar place. <laughs> exactly. Kerkira, Corfu. Yes. The Russian church. <laughs>
Nathan Van Gogh killed himself. So this is it from my side. Okay. Uh, I see some questions. No. There are no questions. Uh, well, I see one question, and um, if you allow me, Barbara, one person is asking, is the rebate 35% or 40%? It is 40%. I apologize, uh, the presentation that I showed you has not been updated yet, but it is 40% since early August. So anybody who applies now is 40%. Okay, so it's nice to that you cleared up. Yeah. Already, Vangelis has noticed that it, it was answered by your words, but thank you very much. If there is no other question, mm -hmm. we should move on because we're a bit late. Yes, sure. I want to ask you, all panelists, if you accept to do only five minutes break and not 10 because we're running out of time. Uh, so if you agree, we can be back in, uh, one thirty, no, one forty, one forty. Okay, one forty. Uh, ah, I see. No problem. Okay, so Venya, many, many thanks. Thank you, thank you very much. And keep in touch with shorts and uh, our industry and you will be welcome next year. Thank you very much and good luck with all the projects, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.